What's up, YouTube? If you didn't know, today was the Q4 2021 AMA with the founders of Upland. This is an awesome opportunity for the Upland community to come in and they get to ask personal questions to the founders of Upland. And today, one of the biggest questions that I've had and that many other players have had was answered, and that is why Upix is not on an exchange. And Dirk gave an awesome response. Let's jump right in and see what he had to say. What's your reasoning for not basing the company in a different country to be able to list Upix on an exchange? Uh, he'd like... He'd like the founders to tell us a bigger picture here. I think this one is for Dirk. Yeah. So first of all, <clears throat> maybe for those who are joined us recently, and you know the way Upland works is, you know, we have this uh, fixed exchange rate between Upex and uh, mm -hmm. and US dollar. So that means uh, one one dollar is one thousand Upex. And uh, the main reason why we actually created that is because we want to make it easy for people to understand what the value of properties or NFTs are in Upland. If the price would go now up and down, that that transparency goes away, right? Because sometimes when it's especially when it would be an external token, you don't understand. Okay, is now the prices are going up because of the external environment, or is it because of internal things and so on? That was one of the reasons. And the other reason is why we also leave it in within Upland has a regulatory reasons. Uh, because uh, in, in the U.S., you cannot just, you know, have an open economy and an open token that that's, uh, has uh, much more other things you have to take into consideration when you when you want to launch that. Um, as you all know, we have the uh, we have the NFT to uh, USD uh, program, which is how we call it, where users can sell those the NFTs or the properties to for US dollars to other players. Um, that we can actually do, but um, uh, for that you need in the US you need to have a money what is called a money transmitter license. We're doing that together with our partner Telia Pay, and you know that's the way we are completely uh, fully uh, re you know compliant when it comes to re regulation here in the US. Um, then one step back on the um, idea is uh, when you think about money, um, Up Upex is a clear utility token, has a utility function, right? It's a medium of exchange in, in Upland. So when you think about uh, the functions of currencies in, in normal life, they have usually, you know, there's different definitions, normally have four functions. One is the medium of exchange. You want to, you know, you don't want to, you know, because it has an advantage when you want to have shoes and towards a piece of meat in real life, right? You Normally it's hard to trade those. That's the reason why you introduced money. That's why, why there's a medium of a change. The sec so if you didn't know, Dirk has a PhD in economics and you can tell very that he's really thought this through and it's really clear and has started to make a lot more sense to me as well. And I went over here on Investopedia, looked up the definition of the medium of exchange, and there's the key takeaways right here. A medium of exchange is an intermediary instrument or system used to facilitate the sell, purchase, or trade of goods between parties. So Upix is the currency to be used within the world of Upland, just like USD is the currency used within you know the United States economy. In modern economies, the medium of exchange is currency. And then right here, if money as represented by a currency is no longer viable as a medium of exchange or if its monetary units can no longer be accurately valued, consumers lose their ability to plan budgets and there is no longer a way to gauge supply and demand accurately. So units can no longer be accurately valued and there's nowhere, there's no way to plan that is a huge like disadvantage if some millionaire could come in or billionaire and drive up the value of Upix and then go buy everybody's properties and then immediately pull pull out that value of Upix. Now they now own a ton of properties in Upland that were bought at a discounted value because they drove up the value of, of Upix. And, and you could see how... It, it could ruin the game overnight and people could get screwed over very easily. So I actually think it's very clear why Upix is not listed on an exchange. And I actually really have a lot of respect for the Upland team. And that's one of the reasons why it's not a money grab, which a lot of people have speculated. So let's see what he goes on to say. The second one is then a store of value. What people always hear about that about Bitcoin. 
right? Actually, you want to keep your money somewhere. You used to have that in dollar bills or euro bills or whatever. Now you have it in your wallet in terms of coins, but it's a store of value. Of course, the price goes up for Bitcoin, this, the value increases also. The third one is then the unit of account. That means, you know, when you buy, buy something, there's a, there's a measure to it. There's a rule, ruler to it. So that means it's $100 or there's 100 APEX or something, what it, what it costs. And the last one is that that is somehow what we call the standard of deferred payment. That means, uh, you know, you want to be sure that you can actually use it also in the future, right? I mean, you look at that, look at this back. So clearly APEX is all about the utility. So people can, you know, uh, trade with an upland. Right, but it's not for you know that you can go and speculate it maybe outside of upland, and that's you know that's a clear clear answer here that we don't want uh, want to be apex outside of upland, you know, for, um, uh, the way we've we've built the the economy. I love that answer. I I really think that uh, it it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I really think Dirk, you can tell, is a really sharp economist and does have a PhD in in economics. And it's very clear that UPEX will remain stable. It will remain consistent with the value of the U.S. dollar, which is way more consistent than all of these crazy fluctuations that are happening with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies around the world. Also, uh, a lot of these other a lot of these other games and metaverses are built on other cryptocurrencies that, like Decentraland, where they have their own token or Axie Infinity, where it's built on ETH, and these prices are constantly fluctuating. Let's say you list a property in Upland for 1 million UPEX, but tomorrow the, the value of, and if, if, it, if UPEX were, uh, you know, like ETH, like in, in Axie Infinity, and you, you listed a property in Axie Infinity, then the value of ETH goes down, which it's fluctuating all the time, now all of a sudden you you lost all that value didn't realize the same income it makes me uh much much easier for me to sleep at night knowing that the value of what i have it listed for is not going to go up and down so i love that answer please leave a comment and let me know if you agree or disagree i know that there's a lot of crypto people who are who are big into upland right now but i do think we are going to have more and more scalability and more of more gamers coming into Upland who don't need to understand all of the cryptocurrency market and fluctuation. So I actually think this is an advantage, and I think you should think it's an advantage as well for that reason. Uh, let me know what you think. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.